Yep, that was a bad idea. That was a bad idea. Good morning, guys. It is 6.30 this morning, and we are about to go to the gym. It is going to be a crazy workout. It is leg day today, and let me tell you, it's going to be the death of me. So... We're about to go to the gym. Might go get some coffee afterwards. We just finished our workout and let me tell you that was one heck of a workout. An hour and 40 minutes later and my legs are dead. And at one point I thought I was gonna throw up. Like no joke, I thought I was gonna throw up. Thankfully, I didn't. We're on our way now to go get some coffee. So we're gonna go do that really quick and then we're gonna get ready for the day. I have a job interview um, over Zoom, so we're gonna do that at 11. All right, we just made it home and of course, we got our coffee. We have, of course, the white chocolate mocha with an extra two shots. We got two shots of espresso. Cheers, mate. Oh, that is bloody good. I tell you what, that is bloody good. All right, we're about to do Bible study and um, do our prayers, our journal. And then after that, within the hour, the next hour, I have an interview. So it's actually, it's funny, I, ironically, I have an interview with Seven Brew. So I might have a job at the coffee shop, who knows? It's my favorite, so we'll see what happens. Let's start this Bible study and um, get ready for this interview. All right, so we just finished the interview and now we are about to do our second workout for the day. It's almost noon, so we're about to get this started so that we can get everything else done today and get on time with our schedule. All right, so we are about to go to the park right now. I got my guitar in the back seat. Um, we have our camera. Um, some tripods and we're just gonna go create some content. I have a little message that I want to share with you So we're gonna talk about some good stuff here that I felt like the Lord was putting on my heart So let's go to the park thought I could come down here and it is not a good idea and honestly it'd be pretty difficult to get back up so we're gonna just stay up here oh my god yep that was a bad idea that was a bad idea okay so we are going to walk back this way and um, look for the trail that will lead us to the water. I really wanted to chill right here. This is a cool spot, but I wanna get closer to the water and then I wanna share the message I have for you guys. All right, you know what I love about vlogging is that this is where you get to be creative. You get to express yourself with your creativity, right? You were made in the image of God. And the first thing that God told us about himself is that he is creative, right? In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. That's the first thing, oh, I almost slipped. That's the first thing God tells us about himself. And we already know that God is love. We already know that, that he's omnipotent, omniscient. We know all that stuff, but the first thing God wanted us to know is that he is creative. And the first thing that God tells us about us is that we are made in his image. So vlogging or creating content may not be your thing, but it's a really great way to express yourself and use your creativity because you have a characteristic, a piece of God's characteristic in you. So get creative and just kind of try something. Just try something new and explore what is on your heart. Because honestly, I've never done like YouTube vlogs like this and I'm having so much fun creating this kind of content. And I'm not doing it for nobody, really. 
I'm doing it for myself because I'm expressing myself with the videos that I'm creating. While I'm also hoping that other people are enjoying it as well and learning from my wisdom or just enjoying the, you know, the nature or whatever it is that I'm doing. And so just go out there and express yourself, get creative and don't worry about what other people are thinking about you. So I have a message that I want to share with you that I felt like the Lord put on my heart today and I've been thinking about it because I've been excited to share this with you and I hope that it touches your heart in some kind of way and that the Lord reveals what He's trying to speak to you. And so what came on my mind today was letting go. Letting go is hard and I've been struggling with it. Falling from God and having a barrier between God and I, it's, it's been really hard. But one thing I know is that God will leave the 99 for the one. And what if letting go was really about transforming our mind? Romans 12 verse 2, you know, famously quoted, Do not conform to the patterns of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, so that you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, His good, pleasing, and perfect will. Most people don't realize what the scripture means, and when you dig deeper into the real meaning of it, it really changes your perspective. To renew means to renovate, to transform. When you renovate a home, you take out the old and replace it with something new. Now, your mind means your thoughts, feelings, desires, and purposes. So when scripture is telling us to renew our mind, it's not just talking about our mind, such as our thoughts. It's talking about our feelings, desires, because our feelings can dictate our actions, which can conform us to the patterns of this world. And our desires can conform us to the patterns of this world and cause us to fall into sin, as well as our feelings and our thoughts. And I'm having a hard time letting go because my thoughts, feelings, and desires, my flesh, which has caused me to fall into sin more than I would like to admit. Like the enemy has attacked me so much lately and it's been so aggressive. The spiritual warfare has been something I've never experienced before. To experience this renewal, we must die to our flesh. We must remove what is bad and replace it with something new, which is God's word. John 8, 31 through 32, it says, if you abide in my word, you are my disciples indeed, and you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. This is what Jesus said. So you see, the reason that we struggle with sin or struggle in any area of our life is because we don't abide in God's word and study his word for each area of our life. And so therefore, we aren't free. We have strongholds on ourselves and those strongholds will remain until you abide in God's word. Then you will be free. So wherever you struggle in life, money, relationships, family, Look up the scriptures in that area, study it, memorize it, meditate on those scriptures day and night. Then you will be able to break the strongholds because you will know the truth and the truth will make you free. It's that simple, yet we struggle to abide in God's word, to follow his word. We know we sin and we know what we're doing and yet we still continue to do it. So I hope that you're able to let go, you're able to draw closer to God, and that you're able to renew your mind because God wants to transform you so that you can be the image of Christ.